I am the Brickalist. Welcome to another Brick Adventure. This is Brick Science. Have you ever asked yourself which of the current LEGO train motors might be the fastest? Well, I did, and here's what I found out. First, I started by building three similar trains with the three different motor types. Remote control, power functions and power up. I managed to make them all weigh the same, which is 398 grams. As you can see, the RC train is still a bit longer, because of the size of its base plate. I also had to add a little extra weight in form of a dining and a passenger wagon in order to prevent this. So, as you all know what's about to happen, let's get into it. Speed level one. RC on the bottom left, power functions on the top left and power up on the top right. While all trains are running, the power functions engine does not even get around the first curve. As soon as each train had one lap to accelerate, the time is being stopped. Round 1 worked in favor of the power up, but things are about to change. This time, the power functions train is also trying to get a time in. Let's see who will decide this round. The RC engine wins with more than a second difference and the power functions are still trying to warm up. As you now know how things are working, I'll speed the testing up a little and I will join in again on the grand finale. Speed level 7 is the maximum for the RC train, so this will be its final time. It's quite funny to see that the power functions and the RC have about the same time, but I've also recorded about 2.559 seconds from the RC, so it might be a bit faster. Speed level 8 is the maximum for the power functions, but there seems to be no real difference between level 8 and level 7 with this engine. So, both of the other trains are maxed out. The only question left is, will the power up, maybe because of the two extra levels it's got, will it be able to be faster? Let's go for a level 9. Who is gonna be the fastest train? Who's gonna be the winner? So still, the power up lags behind the other two trains. They're a bit faster. But there's one more step to take, one more level to go. And now all three trains are on maximum speed. Who is gonna win? And indeed, it is the power up train with just a slight advantage pushes ahead just a little bit, but let me tell you this, it is quite difficult to get these times stopped exactly, so you have to have a very good stopwatch and the one that I used is quite exact, yes, but the margins are so tiny that it is very difficult to have a precise result. I think I still did the best, uh, I hope so at least, and let's take a look at the results. 
For me, the most interesting things to point out here are that the regular top speed of the remote control train has to lie between 2.559 and 2.623 seconds. As we're not living in a vacuum, every, um, every round is a little bit different than the other and I'm not able to stop it all down to the nanosecond, but I've tracked both times 2.559 and 2.623. So somewhere between that has to be the regular speed, the regular top speed of the remote control. At least in my tests, the power functions train was not able to get more speed going from level 6 to level 8, so the acceleration from level 6 to level 8 has to be about the same. At least what I tracked uh, is pretty much the same. And I took a couple of laps and they were all about 2.623 seconds. Yeah, the winner of it all, the power-up train, um, has steady acceleration through all the 10 phases and in the end is even faster than both of the other two, even faster than the remote control train, which I see a little bit uh, ahead of the power functions. So the ranking would be power-up, then remote control and then power functions, but it also is always depending on what kind of batteries are you using and uh, what are the surroundings and so on. So um, that's it for now, that's my test at least. I just wanted to give you a little overview of what these motors uh, would be able to do. I hope you enjoyed it and if so, I would like to see you again. So have a good day, enjoy, see you guys next time.